If you play Brookhaven, for sure you know that there's always some updates rolling out for the game. And yes, another new update has dropped for us to play around with. I'm not kidding when I say a lot has been added, and I mean a lot. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys all that has been added in this new Brookhaven update. Just by searching for the game, you'll already see their new thumbnail. There's two cars right in there. In its banner, there's something new. These new trucks. One of them looks like a fire truck, while the other looks like an ambulance. Wait! Didn't we have these in the game before? In the update change log, you can see that a lot of things are written. But there's some new stuff that I don't think many have noticed. Now the Brookhaven servers have a limit of 20 players. So all those people can play simultaneously. That's a big change. Since before all of this, we could only fit about 16 people in these servers. Now we can have a lot more people playing together. In the future, it would be cool if we would be able to fill every single housing lot with players. But for that, we would need about... 34 players on the server. For now, we'll have to settle for the 20, but maybe in a future update, it would be good to have that. Another thing added in this update were new items. Let's open up our inventory then. If you look at it like this, you'll probably feel like there's nothing new, but that's where you're wrong. Let me go and grab this handgun right quick. With it in our hand, there's nothing new. This has been in the game for a while now, but if we click these gear icons and then into one of these ones, we can actually change how these guns look. I chose to get this purple and green one, which is a lot better than the regular. We also have this pink and white model, which looks really nice and cute. I'm a fan. And if that ain't enough, we can even go and put a flashlight into it. I really like these gun attachments. I never thought they'd be in Brookhaven. Here we are in a darker place so you can see our flashlight at work. It has some good light, but of course it ain't as strong as the old faithful. This one leaves the other on the floor. Just look at the difference. It's not even funny. It's really weak compared to it. Of course, they didn't add new models only for the handgun I've shown. A lot of them got it, like the shotgun that we can also get a pink and white variant. This update made the guns a lot better looking. I really like this one. What about this sniper? Whoa! Those look really cool. This red one is calling to me. It's like it was made for me. Do they make our guns stronger than normal? I'm not sure. We do have a new pose we can use it in. Now you can lie down and shoot just like a sniper. But sadly, these guns have never and will never do damage. We can try as much as we want to use it on other players, but Brookhaven isn't about that. Because this is an RP game, it's not a game about eliminating players. Here's another cool thing that was added. Let's have a look at the new vehicles we got. Like the new fire truck. They've remodeled it from the one before. I feel it looks a lot better. Its details are more in black. We still can get the hose from here. Do you guys remember when this hose mechanic came out? I even did a video seeing how far we can go and stretch it. Why don't we do that again? Let's see where this baby can go. Oh, it got to the end of the road, basically. That's a really big hose. I don't know if they're that size in real life, but I don't know. I never worked as a firefighter before. There's also the button on the back to make it connect with a fire hydrant, just so we have water for our hose. Let me try another thing. How far does the fire hydrant hose go? Will it go as far as the other hose? Okay, that's all already pretty long. Is it gonna go on forever? Or does it have a limit too? Okay, it does have a limit. So yeah guys, this is the new fire truck. It was fully remodeled to this new design. There's no new feature. It's just a new model. We can see in this video from some months ago how different the fire truck was. Comparing them to each other, it had a simpler design before. It was also a lot smaller, more like a toy truck. Now let's have a look at the ambulance car, which has also been fully remodeled. They have the these black and yellow stripes on the back, like some sort of caution warning. We also have the inside part of it, which I don't remember if it was modeled before, but this does look really good right now. Here's where you'd be if you were the patient. Maybe you've been hurt or something. This is actually so cool. I'm really liking this update. Another thing that changed are the blaring lights of the ambulance. It's really different than it was before. As you can see in this video from some months ago, this is how the ambulance looked before. You can see that most of it has the same same idea still. And the inside was indeed modeled. There's even someone inside. But here you can see that the 
model was a lot simpler before. Another new thing is that we got new clothes in the avatar editor. So basically now, whenever we use the editor's options, you're gonna see tons of different clothes that we didn't have before. Let me try and make a new outfit for myself. Don't I just look real pretty? I'm just kidding. This doesn't match me at all. I can't tell you guys which of them are new and which aren't, but know that there is some new stuff in here. But it's good to know that there's even more options for players of all kinds to use. Sadly, since it's past Halloween, the spooky options we had before were indeed removed. I really like the little options we had, but I don't think these new clothes are useful. Because we have the catalog ID where we can put any item's ID to get anything, clothes, hair, you name it. For example, let me put a new shirt on with this one. Look at that! Ain't that pretty? I'll even go as far as to get the pants from it as well. Even if I don't think this is one of the best clothes. But I think you get my point. I don't think we need new clothes when you just need a code to get anything you want. Something else that was added is a new skate park for those skater boys and skater girls out there. Which is kind of weird because we already have a skate park in town and I don't see many people really using it. I literally never saw anyone in here. The new skate park is in the apartments. We just need to go up to the last floor. Now that we're here, we have to get this red apartment right here. If we get this place you'll think it's just a regular place. It's more like a bike and skate shop. A lot different than other homes in the game. But over this way, there's a ladder which sends us here. Look at these ramps! We actually got a whole new skate park to play with. Let's get into our wheels and test this thing out. Since you know that I'm the new Tony Hawk. But as you know, it isn't really polished as the skate mechanics in the game aren't all that. You can see just from looking at this. There's no real gravity for this. At least we can grind on these rails. But if we had to compare the apartment park with this one, I think I find this one a lot better. I think these wires and stuff really give it some nice charm. Maybe it's the challenge of it all. But it does feel like you can do a lot more on this one. Maybe we could have some sort of skate tricks mechanics that we can do. Just like the pro skater games. That would be really fun. There's still one last thing I have to show you guys. Something new was added into the vehicles. And no, this bus jittering has nothing nothing to do with this. Dude, why is this even happening? The bus is literally on the street. I'm really not sure. Anyways, apparently all the vehicles in the game seem to be able to have turbo and max speed. And yes, the bus is included. So let's change these settings and get the 200 speed, which we can do now. Let's get turbo stage 3 as well. With that done, we now have the fastest school bus you'll ever see. We really couldn't do this before. Oh gosh, I tipped the whole fire truck. I hope there's no fire. It's really fun to just be able to drive around a super fast school bus. I think it's quite nice that we aren't limited to a few cars for this anymore. We can now just have fun with those mechanics. But of course, you can only have those kinds of options if you have premium in Brookhaven. If you don't have that, you won't even have those options. So be aware of that. So that's what was added in this latest update, guys. It was quite a lot, but at the same time, not really. Well, I think it's more because it felt more like changes to known things more than newly added ones. But that's gonna have to be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below what was your favorite addition for this new update. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. There's even more to come. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Roblox at your door. Have a good one!